Hi everyone, today we're continuing our discussion on inventory costing. We're dealing with the weighted average method and we are under the periodic system. And I'm your instructor, Brandy. So remember that under the periodic system, we're not updating our inventory and cost of goods sold every single time we make a sale. We wait until the end of the month or the end of the year to update our cost of goods sold and our inventory. If you've watched the other inventory costing method videos, you'll notice that we're using the same table of data. And this is so you can see how the calculations differ between the different methods. Under the periodic system, we have to give you a little bit additional information. So we've written here, based on an inventory count performed, there were 575 units of inventory remaining on January 31st. And I'm just making a note at the top here, we are under the periodic system and we're using the weighted average method. Because we're under the periodic system, we're not concerned with updating our cost of goods sold and inventory every time that we make a sale. So we can actually ignore the sales in our table when we're doing our calculation. So for the time being, I'm just going to cross these out. Since we're under the weighted average method, we're going to calculate one cost per unit for all the units available to be sold. And if you remember our cost of goods sold calculation for the periodic method from the income statement, that will help you greatly. We're going to start with our beginning inventory and we're going to add all of our purchases. And your beginning inventory plus all your purchases gives you your cost of goods available for sale. So we have 1,950 units at a total cost of $11,150. I'm going to calculate a uniform unit cost for each of these 1,950 units. 11,150 divided by 1,950 to give me a unit cost of approximately $5.72 per unit. And I'm going to put this back into my table in another color to notify me that I calculated this number. And if you remember back to your calculation of cost of goods sold on the income statement, cost of goods available for sale minus our ending inventory will give us our cost of goods sold. So our ending inventory in this case is going to be the number of units from our inventory count and that was 575 units. So we take away our ending inventory of 575 units with that unit cost that we calculated of $5.72 per unit to give us a total ending inventory of $3,289. Our cost of goods sold based on that is 1,375 units for a total cost of $7,861. So now that you've watched this video, you should be able to calculate cost of goods sold using the weighted average method under the periodic inventory system. Thanks for watching everyone.